Hey there everyone! Today I'm bringing you a little day in the life video summer edition. Nothing fancy, just what a typical day for me looks like this time of year. Lentil here is often the way we wake up in the morning. He makes his cute little hunting sounds at all the birds out the window and sometimes jumps up at the window bird feeder, which is very cute, but will definitely wake you up. Also, when he's ready for breakfast, he will just come and stomp all over you until you get up and get out of bed to feed him. No day truly begins without a cup of tea. I'm pretty sure it's just not possible. Once caffeinated, the day's tasks can really begin, and that means right now, since we have foster kittens, it's time to head upstairs and get them fed. Right now, the kittens are starting to wean from being full-time nursing with mom to having actual kitten food, so they get a slurry mix of wet kitten food and kitten formula. It is just the cutest thing to watch them all eat. Once they're fed, we usually spend a bit of time with them too, of course, and interact with them. They're also litter box training right now, so we make sure everyone's gone to the bathroom. Mama will come in and bathe them, of course, which often turns into wrestling matches at this point. And then we give them some playtime, and then it's time to go downstairs for me and start my actual workday. I was filming this on Monday, so the first thing I did was write a Patreon post. Every Monday, I share my schedule for the week with my patrons, along with my latest sketches and works in progress. I think it's nice to see a glimpse into what tasks actually go into an artist's working life. At least, I know I love seeing that kind of stuff from people, and it's one of the perks I offer on my Patreon. The link is in the description, by the way, if you want to check that out. Once the post is finished, I try to head out to the garden. I am so sad. I had these big plans to show you this beautiful garden tour and look! A groundhog has come and eaten so many of my plants. That is all my kale and this kale up here all destroyed. The carrots are still here and the green beans in this bed. Thankfully none of those have been touched yet at least. Ugh, carrots are coming in so nice though they're getting so big. But yeah, I'm so sad so much has been eaten. These hoses, by the way, are the new irrigation system that I put in this year. They're like soaker hoses, so I can just turn the water on and it'll slow drip. Ugh, all my lettuces, gone. The beets are coming in. I actually just reseeded these because only a few sprouted the first time, so I've added some more. The garlic's coming right along. I just harvested scapes from those the other day. They were so good. Nothing here has been eaten, thankfully. We have my little mini eggplant that's coming right along. I am very excited. The flowers are so pretty. I've never grown any kind of eggplant before, so I am quite excited. All these are peppers, and then we have tomatoes here in the back. Thankfully, like I said, none of that got chomped on. The dill forest, a little bit of it got eaten, but not much, so there's still plenty left for caterpillars, which is good. It's a little out of control. It's like growing out of the cracks. Yikes. And the pumpkins look pretty untouched too. I just transplanted this one from the compost, so it's still a little droopy. Oh, he ate my peas! Oh, stupid groundhog. No. At least the pumpkins are still here. And ate a ton of my sunflowers. Oh my god! All the leaves! Uh, unbelievable. Oh, this flower just bloomed and is one of my absolute favorites, and I am so mad that I cannot remember the name of it. I'm really bad with flower names. But yeah, I try and come out to the garden every morning, at least just for a few minutes, to kind of pick at any weeds, give it a water if it needs it, and just check in with my plants. And then it's back inside and back to work. Mondays are when I tend to prep social media posts for the next week or two, depending on how much footage I have to use. So I sit down and edit together videos or photos for posts, and then I upload and fully prep them in my drafts on different platforms, so all I have to do each day is just select one and post it. 
it really streamlines the process for me. All in all, this takes about two to three hours every Monday, and it is just so much easier for me than trying to scramble to have a post each day. Some do take longer if I have longer bits of footage to edit together, but still, it is so worth it for me to just take a chunk of my time to do this than try and get it done every single day. Social media is a big part of my business. It brings in a lot of sales to my shop and, you know, it's a way to get work out there and things. So it is something I have to make time for in my work schedule. It's part of my job, whether I like it or not, and so I do treat it as such. Cat breaks are an essential part of every workday. I usually stop around 10 a.m. or so to get up and make myself breakfast. I've been obsessed with the simple meal of whole wheat toast, sliced avocado with a bit of salt and pepper, two over hard eggs, and just a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. It's so simple, but so delicious. Definitely my current breakfast of choice. Post breakfast, I can finally sit down for a couple hours of just art work. This is my favorite part of my workday where I can just zone in on whatever project I'm currently working on and actually get some productive hours of art in. It is what I love to do. During the summer, these chunks of art time are often pushed to the evening or the night hours, depending on what the day plans were with my kiddo, but there are still days I can get a good art session in at my desk. Unfortunately, during this filming session, for some reason my camera cut out after like 20 minutes, so instead of a nice long time lapse with a lot of work progress, you only get a little bit, but you get the idea. Since I work right next to my window, I am constantly distracted by outdoor visitors. Early afternoon brings another round of kitten feeding and of course a little bit of snuggle and playtime. We typically only have fosters during the late spring and summer months, which is really nice because it means my kiddo is home during the day and can be up with them and spending a lot of time with them and getting them socialized. When we have kittens while she's still in school, I do try and spend a large part of my workday up there so they're not just sitting up there by themselves for long chunks of time and for many hours since a large part of fostering is getting the cats socialized and used to human interaction, but during the summer, I can spend a little bit more time working while she's up there with the babies, so it's a good balance. <laughs> Mama, what is she doing? Is she fighting the bath time? Oh, she got away, Mama. She got away. And we give our boys plenty of love during the day, too. I try and get in any more art time I can before it's time for evening chores and then dinner prep. This dish is super easy. It's a veggie gnocchi bake. Basically just chop up whatever vegetables you like. I use sweet potato, carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, red pepper, onion, and Brussels sprouts, although I was out of them this time. Toss the veg and gnocchi on a baking tray, drizzle it with olive oil, sprinkle with salt and pepper, and then roast it at 425 for 25 minutes. We topped ours with a marinara sauce that I whipped up really quick and a little bit of Parmesan, but use what sauce you like. It's great, super simple, delicious. After dinner, we often relax as a family. Sometimes we play a board game together. Lately, I've been playing through Majora's Mask now that it's added to the N64 expansion on the Switch. 
Ugh, it's so nostalgic and wonderful to play again, and my kiddo has never seen it before, so she's loving watching it. I adore this game, and I'm so excited to play through it again with her. And of course, we spend a lot of time with the kittens. We do go up and feed them dinner, usually around 7 o'clock, and then later on we go back up and weigh them. We need to weigh them every night just to make sure that they're gaining weight. There's no real, like, amount they should be gaining, but as long as they're continually gaining weight at this age without any plateaus or losses, then they're doing great. And then once my kiddo is in bed, it's usually back to work for me. This is often the time when I work on new sketches and things because I do that on my iPad so I can be in the living room with my partner. He's usually watching a show or something and I can at least half pay attention while I work. I didn't film that because I film everything on my phone and it really dislikes doing anything with low light, but this is the sketch that I've worked on most recently during a nighttime work session. And that's a typical day for me. A quick little announcement before I wrap it up. When this video goes live, I'm currently on a road trip with my fam off to some national parks. So there's gonna be a little break in videos while I'm on vacation for the next few weeks. I'll be filming all throughout the trip though and putting together a little travel vlog for you once I'm home. And in the meantime, follow me on social since I'll be sharing lots of vacation stuff to my stories. I'm at K9 and Art everywhere. Thanks so much for watching today. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like what you see around here. Take care, my friends. Be well. Until next time.